can freaking bang investment is going through the roof today we're going to talk about probably one of the most free-to-play lineups out there and this is huge because it doesn't use java and it's going to be great while you're building up to unlocking java you have a team that can get you some maximum damage and it involves good old cad bane holy cow boba fett's more amazing and baush leia omicron is finally really good hello yeah Chewing the Boba Fett rocket montage. There's a few people I have deep respect for, and I always listen to when they talk about Galaxers, and Fatal is literally on top of that list somewhere. He showed this a couple days ago, and it has transformed the raid, and has given free-to-play folks another tool at their disposal to do as much as they can in this raid, especially while they're working towards Java. Link down below the Fatal's video, and share some love from the Kyber Club. And this is addressing something I got so much in the comments that it just didn't exist at the time. A HUD cartel team that can get a maximum damage run, whatever tier you might have. So I just did a run for 2.6 million damage. I could probably get that last little bit if I can try to get the mods 100% right. Boy, I hope I can get 2.6 million damage again. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what you're going to need to make this work number one mods are going to be incredibly important if you don't want a mod this is not the right team for you in fact the crate dragon is just a function of modding i hate to say it number two the thing that's really putting all this together is the bausch leia omicron oh beast ogian cloak basically what's happening is while in raids ignore the first part it doesn't really matter the most important thing is if the ally in the leader says hut cartel which is going to be cad bane when fearless inflicts a thermal detonator all hut cartel allies gain 10 percent armor penetration which goes with the max of 200%, 20% offense, maximum 40%, 20% potency, maximum 400%, and a maximum of an extra 100 speed, so an extra 10 speed every time she inflicts a thermal detonator. So truthfully, the whole strategy here is to prolong the amount of time Leia has to ramp up the armor penetration, offense, and potency because ultimately the main daddy damage is coming from Boba Fett. My gosh, Boba Fett's been so great lately. And when the time is right, when Leia got enough assisting out there, you're going to launch this rocket and do over a million damage. If you want to go straight to the gameplay, there'll be a timestamps down below. I want to talk about modding because modding is so important. You can't just walk in all willy-nilly and expect something to happen. Cad Bane's got to be extremely fast, and I myself can't even hit the recommended threshold. The reason why we're using Cad Bane lead is you're getting an extra 100% potency which is incredibly important because we're relying on turn meter removal from Cad Bane and Greedo to prolong the amount of time to let Leia ramp up. Anytime you inflict the debuff, you're going to get advantage, and that's going to be very important for Boba. And it's pretty easy to make the contract cap, inflict 20 debuffs on the enemy, and then the enemy is going to lose 50% to Nasty again, making it easier to apply debuffs. Stun Glove is incredibly important. This is where the mods are going to come in handy. If you can get the right mods, you could really perfect this. You want to be able to pull back Turner from the Crate Dragon to prolong the amount of time Leia has to ramp up. Cad Bane, speed, speed, speed is the most important thing. Feel free to sacrifice a second set for speed. The issue is, you gotta get Cad Bane somewhere in that 314, 316 speed, and that is incredibly tough. Look at the mods I have on. A lot of them have 27 speed primaries and 25s. Very difficult thresholds to hit. And this is where the remod's gonna be important. And even myself, I just can't seem to get that threshold. And the downside is, if you can't get Cad Bane to those ideal speeds, you might not remove the Terminator at the ideal times that you want to prolong Leia doing your thing and prolong the Crate Dragon devouring someone. So for the speed arrow, ideally, you're gonna wanna get some offense-based primaries on this triangle potency down here so you can remove turn meter and then again just focus speed on everywhere else now we've already talked about why Leia is important mod wise you want her to be exactly one speed slower than your cad bane so unfortunately i couldn't get the ideal speeds on cad bane you want to make Leia as close as possible to cad bane so i made her exactly 310 one speed slower and you want to ramp up her offense so offense primaries critical damage primaries offense primaries down here when she's going to be constantly assisting you want to make sure it counts a lot the so most important thing is speed critical damage and offense chrysanthemum's got three important things he's unfortunately going to die off pretty quickly so don't worry too much about him the good thing is he starts up with speed up so he gets a lot of speed baked in you ideally want to get him around 290 if he's too slow he won't open up before the crate dragon starts he's going to start off with the dismemberment on the crate dragon the second thing he's going to do is use shock to prevent the buffs on the crate dragon and thirdly he's meant to die <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to want to maximize your offense as much as possible. Just whatever he does damage, it counts as something a little extra. Don't worry too much about too much speed. Getting around 290 seems to be more than enough. And if you're noticing your Chrysanthemum's not going first, you need to make him a little bit faster. Boba, Boba, Boba! 
Loba, he's all about trying to get the advantage. I remember Cad Bane when you apply a debuff, he gets advantage. So you're going to try to get debuffs on his basic. It's a little finicky and tough. Get that advantage sometimes. And ultimately, when the time is right, when Leia ramped up the team enough with that Omicron, you want to launch the rocket that launched a thousand Lord Vader tiers. This is going to pretty much do almost all of your damage. And to get there, you want to make sure you jack up the offense and the critical damage as much as possible. And you want to get his speed dialed in as close as you can to 266 preferably right on the money on 266 if you can offense primaries try to get as much offense secondaries in there critical damage on the triangle again look how much offense i'm trying to squeeze in there probably could slice this to get a, even more offense cross again note how much offense secondary i'm trying to squeeze in there and the rest is try to get as many offense secondaries in there as you can and as you can see i got 10.3 i can definitely get a bit more if i sliced up some odds actually while we're here why don't we see if we can get one just anything give me any of the offense really Let's see. Ah! Lastly, and certainly not leastly, Greedo. Greedo's primarily doing one main thing that's very important. Threaten. He's able to remove turn meter. He's going to remove turn meter equal to his critical chance, which I have 101%, so he should remove 100% turn meter. This is incredibly important. There is no if, ands, and buts, at least in the tier that I'm playing on, the highest tier. You need to have Greedo locked in exactly at 226. If he's too fast, he's going to remove not enough turn meter. If he's too slow, he won't be able to remove the turn meter. 226 is whatever the mathematical reason that this is able to lock in the perfect time to remove turn meter. Otherwise, folks on offense primaries, critical damage on that primary, offense on the primary primary on the, the cross and then trying to get as much potency and offense as you can make sure the theme is still the same no matter what tier you do no matter what gear and relics you have cad bane has to be the fastest leia exactly one speed slower than cad bane chrysantha needs to be the first one out there before the crate dragon raid vomit get as much offense as you can on boba fett and critical damage and as much potency and critical damage on offense on greedo and let's show you how cad bane cooks in the kitchen so i would love if i can hit 2.7 for you guys i've been able to get 2.6 which is great Again, I think it's because I'm not getting the right amount of speeds clocked in. All right, so thing number one, if you're not getting this, restart, remod. Chrysantha needs to go first, and he needs to use the disarm to dismember the crate Dragon, start it off. And as you can see, Leia's going to be constantly assisting. And every time she's assisting, she's ramping up the stats of our team. Leia, first play you're going to do, you're just going to throw a basic over here and clean up everyone. When you destroy bombs, you get to cleanse your team. Cad Bane, his first turn. You're going to just do basic on the guy. Pop bomb. And then Leia's going to come in again, ramping us up. Now, this is the difficult part that I can't always land. It would be ideal when the time is right. You're going to get advantage on Boba. To start off, we're going to try to just do basic. Hope he applies a damage over time. Get advantage. Let's see if we can get that. So we're going to just do basic. And, uh, and see, this happens. Like, I'll get the advantage, and he does the second <laughs> assist. And he gets rid of the advantage. You can still get a great score without the advantage, but advantage makes your life so much easier. Now, this is why you need Greedo to have the exact speed of 226, at least in this highest tier. You need to make sure Retin goes at this time. Look how much turn we're, remo we're removing. If we were too fast, then the Crate Dragon wouldn't have as, as much turn meter. If we're too slow, the Crate Dragon would go. So we're going to do this. And if he doesn't remove turn meter, he doesn't pass that tenacity check, just restart. So let's hope we get through this right now. There we go. So right there, if, it, if he didn't remove turn meter, the crate dragon's gonna go, your run got ruined, just restart, try again. But generally, it's not that hard to remove turn meter, especially with the Cad Bane potency boost, as well as Leia juice up our potency and Greedo having some extra potency stuff as well. Greedo's gonna follow up, we're just gonna throw some explosive sabotage. We don't wanna use basics because we might get too much turn meter on the crate dragon. Leia, just keep doing basics, let her ramp up everything. Now, this is important. This is where Chrysanthemum's second important thing comes in. You want to be able to apply shock on the guy, and likely we're going to hit contract at this point. So let's go drop that base. We need to get shock. We got the shock. Contract's hit. Boba Fett gets the bonus turn. Now, I'm going to try again to just do this basic and hope we get advantage on him. Let's see. There we go. We got the advantage. Fantastic. So this is, this is the exact point where my mods aren't quite good enough. Ideally, you want Cad Bane to go they remove some turn meter and prolong the run, and Chrysanthemum could have still been here, and that's where that extra 4 or 5 speed could really benefit me. I can't get there, and that's where I know I'm leaving a lot of damage on the table, just from that one little couple speed boost I needed. Instead, I'm just going to do basic right now and hope that maybe I can still prolong this a little bit, so we're just going to do basic for the moment, and we're going to get late. So see, damage is ramping up. Now we're kind of in this final blitz mode. The second Chrysanthemum gets eaten up, we're blitzing down this crate dragon, so we're just going to do basics and hope we get a nice couple hits. Only got one. 
that's completely fine just keep doing basics and all right boba fett should be getting a turn in here so you got to kind of make a judgment call here ideally you'd like Leia to get a couple more turns before launching this rocket but if you don't think you're going to be able to get in there in time launch the rocket before the crate dragon takes a turn you just got to take it now so i'm going to try taking it right now i could try and wait and see if cad bane can move some terminator i just don't know if it's going to be enough to let both get a second turn and of course he might not pass the tenacity check so i'm going to just opt to use the rocket watch how much damage we're going to get Oh, 999 and i've had way more than that so i'm just curious could it could cad bane have removed enough turn meter see i didn't even remove any turn meter here so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go in there and we got 2.2 million damage but we're gonna try to get a little bit more and this comes down to kind of like that boba fett solo run that we talked about we're gonna come in here try to get a last big chunk of damage 2.3 i've done better obviously but 2. Point, now we're 2.34 this is still a very good run, nonetheless. I'll try again and show you a situation where I can get Cad Bane to move the turn meter in time. So let's do it. We're going to start off Chrysanthemum doing dismemberment on the Crate Dragon. Crate Dragon comes in and pukes everywhere, and he's going to bonk someone. Bonk. That's fine. Leia should come in next. We want to do a basic clean off the team. Get rid of one of those bombs for the cleanse. Cad Bane, just do the basic. Nicely done. Uh, Boba Fett, we're going to try to get advantage on him, and we just lost the advantage. Uh, Greedo needs to remove turn meter and we missed it. So actually I'm gonna pause here when that happens just back out That's why you need that turn removal restart. All right, miss this member coming up nicely done And we're gonna get puked on all right here comes the big bonk. There goes the bonk nicely done basic over here clean up the team Okay, all right, we're gonna just do basic for right now Okay Nicely done. Try to get advantage on Bulba. We got the advantage. We lost the advantage. Remove the turn meter. Got it removed. Fantastic. Uh, throw some thermal detonators out. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to try to remove some turn meter here. Nicely done. Okay. Try to get advantage again. We got it. Awesome. All right. Lay, just keep doing basics. All right. We're going to get the shock. We're going to hit contract likely here. All right. There we go. Okay. Nicely done. That's fine. Boba Fett getting dazed is not a problem. Oh, uh, Greedo coming in here. All right. Boba being dazed is not a problem. We're just going to do some basics. Try to get some damage on him. Nice. Almost in the million threshold. I think I can maybe get Boba Fett in here for one more turn. Look at that turn. It's looking really good. So for now, I'm just going to drop down. I don't want to hit him. So I'm just going to drop some bombs down. There you go. We're just going to do basic right now. Okay. All right. Just keep doing basics. Hopefully, Boba gets a turn. Nicely done. Oh, he didn't get the turn removal. Oh, here we go. This is great. This looks great. This is great. This is great. So that's where the judgment call comes in. If you think you can try to get an extra turn on Boba Fett, all those extra turns from Lee is going to drastically change our damage. So we're at 1.475. Let's see how much Boba Fett's rocket of 1,000 Lord Vader tears will do. Big money, big money, big money. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Gentlemen, boy, does that feel freaking good! I did record that, right? <laughs> so realistically, again, even though my cad bane speeds weren't dialed in, sometimes you'll have that perfect run where you can remove enough turn meter at the right time. And also, I think the thing that really helped out is we were able to make that judgment call that Boba was able to get that extra turn because all those extra system layers gave us a ton more damage that got us to the finish line. We won with no problem. And I probably could have gotten more than 2.7 if the Great Dragon Ray would let me go past 2.7. So let's go ahead and lock that in. So just from having three max runs of Jabba, Maldalorians, as well as the leftover Hut Cartel, that's already putting me at 8.1. And I get like generally another 1.2 from the older public because I do a lower tier. I could maybe get another 1.4, maybe if I'm lucky, 1.8. With the Tuscans, I'm just going to put 1.4 million. As you can see, this team alone is going to make me blow my record. And once I get a higher, older public team and a Tuscan team, I can easily hit that max score right there. So this team was key to unlocking the full potential of the raid. We're going to probably do a separate video on Jabba and Leftover. Spoiler, Embo's amazing. and don't want to do all of it now. It's already a long video as it is. We'll do a separate video going more in detail on that. But that's going to be another 2.7 million. Man, I'm happy. Cad Bane has a really really important use in Galaxy of Heroes. And hopefully, this is going to give you guys a lot of good firepower when you're unlocking Jabba the freaking hut. Leave that like, comment down below. I hope this video is helpful. And more importantly, I hope you always say how it's great to be in the Empire.
today. Oh, it's great.